you connect with a partner, it's it's several things that come into play. And first of all, it's physical. Second, it's kind of an emotional tie. And third, it's like like the spiritual thing that you just feel with somebody. And and when they when they lock into that that movement that I'm doing. We take one step and we go wherever the music leads us and where that person's body will follow. It's like B.B. King said, he's like, learn your notes, learn the riffs, learn the notes, learn the riffs, and then just dance, you know? And in tango and the dances that we do, like more street dances, it's definitely about like we study, we study, we study, and then we just freaking dance. There's no like set figures, there's no set movement. And within the study, you learn how to connect to another human being in a really deep way. Okay, guys, we're walking forward, forward, side. Back, twist, twist, and turn your foot. Forward, forward, side, back, twist, twist, turn your foot. Teaching somebody how to be um, connected to another human being is the most difficult part of this whole deal. You know, we teach them figures and we let them walk through it, but. Um, connection kind of happens by accident. Like, you can explain it to somebody all you want, but the bottom line is, is they'll never understand it until they actually feel it. There's the craft of dancing, and there's the feeling of dancing. And sometimes, I mean, I have more fun just walking across the floor with somebody that doesn't know that much than I do dancing with somebody that's amazing, you know? I dance with somebody that's amazing, and it'll bring you that joy of like, oh, wow, it's an accomplishment. I just accomplished something. But there's always that walk in the park, man. Like, you don't really do much, you're not going anywhere, but the person is just on it, and they're just with you, and they, they could care less about how good they are, or how, how bad you are, or whatever. I mean, to me, I think those are my favorite dances. I was dancing with this girl, and she burped in my ear one time, and I just about died laughing. I thought it was the funniest freaking thing that, it, <laughs> I had to step off the dance floor and that was one of my funniest dances ever like not that the girl did some kind of crazy wild movement or but I was dancing and she burped in my ear but like to get back to your question like what what is tango what it what influences me well like a smile a person a car something beautiful like a movie I saw a painting I looked at like something, something, it doesn't have to be a dance. It's, tango is not about like, tango is not about a dance. It's more like I paint a painting every day, you know? I paint a painting on the floor and it's, it's about how I feel. It's about what's happening in the world. It's about the vibe. It's about the vibe of my partner. It's you know, it's a combination of things, and uh, and and it's and it's about nothing at the same time, which makes it all the more beautiful.
This is the perfect tango dance. Think of your favorite dessert. Wow. Sleeping with the most greatest lay you ever had on top of smoking the most favorite Ibuchi on top of being at the best wedding where you're the superstar on top of being forgiven for every sin on top of like a really cool summer day.